Okay, question 22. Following is probability density function f to g. So find f versa. So before we do any calculation, continuous random variable, we are going to draw out our interval. Okay, so interval 0, 1, 1 to 5. So x squared, this is 5 minus x over 12. So this is our interval. So to find our cumulative, we need to start before and then go by intervals and then come to the interval, last last interval here. So we will have one step, second step, and then third here, four here. So we will have four steps to find our cumulative distribution function. Okay, so we will start doing first step first. So for first step, it is the interval before zero. So zero is already included in this interval. So we will go in to write x will not include. So to find cumulative distribution function, the concept is before plus current. So before it, we don't have anything. If, if you are at this interval, before it, we don't have anything. Currently in this interval, also nothing, right? So nothing functions, so it will be fx equals to 0. Then we move to second step, where we go into this interval, which is between 0 and 1. So our cumulative, before that. So when you already at here, all right? So before it, you have 0. Currently, you have your function already. So we need to integrate to find out their probability. So in the grid currently, it will be start 0 until x for function x squared. Then with respect to x dx, so we will power tambah 1 over power baru. Then upper limit is x, lower limit is 0. Then how we go into substitute? We will substitute upper limit x. When you substitute x means we will maintain the equation. No change, nothing to change because x substitute x. So kekal sebutan x. So minus 0 cube over 3 so it get 0 simplify this answer x cube over 3 then we move on to step number 3 when the interval between 1 until 5 so for cumulative so when you move to this part so you already over you already pass interval 0 1 so you move to this part so before that you can look back how much you already collect you already collect here as maximum as value of 1 so before that we already collect as much as one currently in the grade probability here in the grade one until x only for five minus x over twelve dx. So this value one, how are you going to find? Because it this is before before interval before it right before before plus current right so before. So this one we are going to substitute into the f before it. So which is this f bar? So it will become one cube over three plus. At the same time, we integrate the current interval. We do the integration. So how to do this integration? Uh, so this is our formula. We integrate power plus 1 over new power. Then don't forget coefficient of x, negative 1. Integration involving satu bracket linear. So this is 1 over 3. Then we are going to substitute our x inside. Means we will maintain this term. And then we substitute value of 1. 5 minus 1, 4 square, 16. So over negative 24 so we have to simplify it negative 1 over 3 go for the last step so the critical step whether we see we can get one or not so if we can get one means everything it will be correct 100 percent you can confident so the last interval will be after 5 so x more than equal 5 so cumulative as much as so when you already at this interval uh, so you can see you already cumulative as much as 5 so f5 plus current interval 0. So when you f5, we put here, uh, it's not 1. So we have to double check, curly do 1, right? So when we substitute this 5 inside, yes, it is 1 minus 5 minus 5 square over 25 plus 0. Okay, before. This is part before. So we will substitute this value of 1 to the cumulative that we have done before that, which is this. Then we will notice that we get 1. So finally, we write out our function here. Cumulative distribution function. So for every part of the answer, we were going to write in the function 0, x less than 0. Answer for this, x cubed. Then answer for this, lastly, 1. Continue for question A. Probability for x less than 0 0.5. So we will take 
as much as 0 0.5. So where's our 0 0.5? It will be located in this interval. So this formula will be used. It will be 0 0.5 cubed over 3. So that will be our probability, 1 over 24. So if you want probability more than 3, as much as 1, minus that part that we don't want, which is less than 3. So this variable 3 occur in this interval, 1 until 5. So this formula we are going to use. So minus, I'll make sure we put back that so that we didn't confuse. 5 minus 3 squared over 24. Next question, 0 0.5 until 2. So we will cumulative as maximum as 2, then minus 0 0.5. So cumulative as much as 2, we have to calculate using this interval, 1 until 5, put in this formula. So for F0.5, we already count in question A, so we can reuse the answer. Okay, so if you want to find from probability here, integrate directly using F, kecil, cannot be here, because we have keywords here. Hence, hence means we have to use our result before this means we have to use our FSA to find our probability. So we won't accept any integration for using F. So lastly, we go for median. So median, as we know median, Fm equals to 0 0.5. But our problem is we have two interval here. We are, don't know our median, which is located at this interval or the next interval. We're not sure which is the area. So we have to check one by one. So for this interval, it already cumulative as much as 1, right? Because you can see 0 until 1, right? So as much as maximum, they go for variable 1 already. So how much they already cumulative here? It will be equal to 1 cubed over 3. So it is 1 over 3. So obviously, it not yet reached 0 0.5. So kawasan dia tak cukup lagi 0.5. Means our interval... Our median will not occur in this interval. So our median will definitely occur in this interval. So we have to select where's our median interval first. So we can try to check because this is maximum already. Maximum 0 until 1, maximum 1. So we substitute 1 into this function f besar. Then we get 1 over 3. Not yet. It's still less than 0 0.5 because 1 over 3 is 0 0.33. So we know that for finding median, our interval, our median interval is occur at this interval. So we are going to use this formula to find out our M. So our Fm will be occur in 1 minus 5 minus M square over 24. So we're going to solve this quadratic to get our M. So we move, uh, we move this, we get negative. So we cancel our negative. Left hand, left hand side and right hand side so we get 12 then we come to a quadratic here so when you move your square it will be positive negative square root minus your 5 so you can press out your decimal we will have two answer here negative 1.54 and 8.46 negative negative so when i move the negative become positive for both answer we know our median occurring in the interval of 1 and 5 so we have to state out since median supposedly occur in the interval 1 to 5. So therefore, our median only can accept 1.54. So the 8.46 we should reject because it's not in our interval of median.